people who make the best out of what they have. Now think about that. People who make the best out of what they have. These are the people who get lemons in life and make lemonade. I like that. I like that. So I've got written here, it says one thing I've noticed about happy people is that they find ways to enjoy life with what they have. Happy people, they enjoy life with what they have. Yeah. Um, little occurrence that other people tend to discount, they, it, it turns them on. I mean, problems are not the most important in life, solutions are. Making the best of what you've got. And you know, I've noticed that with our own son. As uh, my son has become more electronically in touch with every device that's out there, Xbox, PlayStation, we, you name it. <laughs> it just, have you noticed that it doesn't take long before that $60 game is now just sort of put, put on the side? Yeah. It, they're not, he's not even doing it anymore. Right. Meanwhile, he you forgets know, he has it. <laughs> but try Until to, Julie picks it up, her daughter. Uh, that's our and daughter, then Julie. Oh, my God. Now it's it is priceless. the number one thing. Now I've lost the diamonds in my bedroom, Dad. <laughs> uh, you know, it's the garbage in here in my, bed, my son's bedroom that my daughter picks up all of a sudden at solid gold. But um, again, let me, let me reiterate that. The types of people you want to surround you in your life are those people that make the best out of what they have. Yep. Second type. You want to do that one or you want me to do it? Um, another quality is that people who accept responsibilities for their lives. They accept the responsibility for their life. Think How many it. people do you have in your <laughs> life that do that? Most of the folks that I talk to on a daily basis are telling us why their other life irresponsible is a people have affected them and they can't be responsible because of the irresponsibility of others. But I, you know, I'll read those few words here, and it goes something like this. Uh, look for friends who find ways to excel, um, find ways to get ahead. They don't blame anybody or anything for their misfortune. Rather, they have stamina and fortitude to find ways to make life work for them. They are people who spend time dwelling on obstacles only for the purpose of developing a strategy to get around them. Right, so they're doesn't always that make you feel good to hear that. They're always looking for the fix. Yes, and you know, isn't that part of being an adult? Every day of our lives, we're faced with problems, and you know, I keep waiting for my dad or my mom to come and rescue me. But those days are over. I keep waiting to win a million dollars too. So far, I haven't. Would you tell me if you did? I think you get half. Uh, only if I know about it. <laughs> then again, one day if I go home and you're not there, I know what happened. Uh, the third one. People who radiate a sense of confidence. H have you ever noticed those folks around you that they have that sense of confidence? They have that sense oh, of... Oh, people are drawn to them. You want to be they around feel them. Like they, you mm -hmm. feel like they've got all the answers. That's and right. I think that's one of the qualities of being a good salesman, isn't it? That sense of confidence? Yes. You wouldn't sell much if you walked in and said, duh, uh, uh. But there's a thin line between <laughs> confidence and obnoxiousness in sales. Yeah. Say, that, say that again. Obnoxiousness. Obnox My yeah, Ohio accent that, comes out. Uh, obnoxiousness. Obnoxious. Yeah, I love that. You know, I almost feel like I'm hearing your mom talk right now. <laughs> hey, careful, Anybody from Ohio says it just like that. But um, so some of the most inspiring people who, will ever, who you will ever meet are those that have confidence. They may not have all the answers to life, but they certainly believe that answers are coming. Right. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, these are the people who believe in cause and effect. That is, they know in their hearts that they can achieve their goals if they have a plan and work the plan. You see, that's important, isn't it? Yes. You heard me say last week, you can live in hell for a month if you know why, but you won't make it a day unless you got a reason. Yes. That's right. You I know, can do it. one of the things that you inspired me about when I made the decisions to make a change in my career... Really? I don't know if you remember that. I don't know. But Which you said you to me about? one day, you said, the one thing I've always liked I about you. I inspire you in so many ways. Which one are you talking this about? This one was when you said, Gordy, <laughs> what I liked about you is you always knew where you were going. You always made it look like you did. I know, and inside yeah. I'm thinking to myself, boy, I fooled her on that one. Ooh, yeah. And then, and then they know that they will po prosper because they know they have, within their own capabilities and potential, the ability to achieve. Right. So they're confident in themselves. Confident in themselves. And they, okay. don't, they don't always have the answer. You want to do number four? And then finally, there are people who are energized, motivate, and inspire. Think about the few people you've had in your life that look in your eyes and tell you, you can do it. I, I don't know. I've got my hands up, but I, I couldn't fill them with people in my life that have said, you can do it. And yet, those are the folks that give you the most energy. Those are the folks that inspire you to get up and try harder the next day. I still remember to this day when I was a little kid, and I was having a rough time in, like, eighth grade. 
And uh, one of the other little boys walked up to me and said, don't take this from them. You're much bigger. You can, you can, you can blow right through them. And I was all pumped up by this, these words of inspiration. <laughs> and I went out there, and I grabbed this guy, and I threw him around. And then when I went back to the guy that told me this, says, I was just kidding. <laughs> of course, the end result was that they were all scared of me, and it worked. But uh, interesting how when I you felt You know, fear, that, though, is not a good motivator it, most of the time. I would agree with you. Well, I wasn't fearful. I was confident. I felt you like someone confident, believed in me. You were confident, but they were fearful, which was not a good motivator for making friends well, and when, influencing people. When you're 12 years old, it happens. Ooh, that's it who's that? Say what? Making friends and influencing people. Uh, that would be uh, Dale Carnegie, right? That's right. Yeah. So then, so let me go ahead and I'll read these few words. And it says, as I look back on my personal meaningful relationships, I notice the quality of that motivated, motivated, motivational energy. There have been times when I was ready to throw in the towel and quit whatever I was working on, but yet there were those people back there that were telling me, Gordy, you can do it. And, and that's why you see that in one of these four. And that's why I'm asking you as you listen to these words and you make choices about surrounding yourself, if you will, think about those four people who make the best out of what they have, people who accept responsibility for their lives, people who radiate a sense of confidence, and people who energize, motivate, and inspire. And I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you apply this to, uh, to some of the ways of some of the things happening in your life.